Hey everyone, Dark Paul here, and welcome back to Game Destroyers TV. So, we're back with another tour, and this time it is of a map called Los Grandos, no, Grandes Terranos. I butchered that the hell back, but hey. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's a very large map. There's very few fields, though. there's only eight fields, and you only start out with two of those. So, it's going to be interesting, but you do get a lot of starting equipment. So, I'm going to take you a tour around the farm to start with, and then we'll head on out into the open country. And I'm going to use the lizard because this farm is massive. And we'll start back around here where these equipment sheds are. You know, you got three tractors right there, tons of sheds couple of headers and trailers. I mean you get literally tons and tons of sort equipment. But it's understandable because these maps are absolutely huge. And uh, even get a front loader down there. Uh, there is some uh, yeah they are automated. But back around this way because we're not finished with exploring the farm. You get your absolutely massive chicken area right here. And then here we have a vehicle repair area if you were to want to, you know, get underneath your vehicle and do some repair work to it. A couple of combines, tons more shed space. I mean, literally, you have room in here to put tons of equipment. This would be a really good multiplayer map. And then you have these sheds here. And they're actually part, from what I can see, of the storage system for the silos. You know, for your potatoes and things like that, they go over into one of them sheds. So, that's pretty impressive on its own right itself there. And even more back here. crazy. And you got your fertilizer, etc. right here. Fuel. Anyway, let us head out. Uh, do we have an exit down here? I don't think we do. I think we've got to go back around here a bit and there's a, a way out near the Loading area, yeah, that's right here. And yeah, we'll just go out the gate here. It opened up for us. Now we've got this little brown walled in area there. Little field. You got your hay loft in there. And back here, one of the drop offs, I think these for the grain. Produce. The looks of it. Looks like a, a grain mill or a bakery or whatever you'd call it. Fortunately, there's no information buttons or that to help you out on that regard. Once again, my driving completely sucks. I have the spinnery for the wool. And our Morgan massive motors with a large gravel area. As I say, you start out with a couple of decent sized fields yourself. Field six here. Oh wow, that hedge is actually solid. Of course, the speed bumps. Oh, I forgot the biogas facilities down here as well. Fuel station. There's a bit of everything around about. It's very nicely detailed out. Now this is a big biogas facility. I mean, literally, it's huge. 
Oh, well, that's actually penned in. Kinda. You can walk through them. Once again, you could use some of this for storage of equipment and whatnot yourself. If you wanted. And then, of course, back this side, you have your animal fields. You know, pigs, cows, and sheep. With what looks like a uh, food mixer in the middle here, which is a nice touch. Okay, so let us head out here. Barriers. I love the I love the op opening barriers like that. So here's field eight. Now this is one of the smaller fields on this map. And you can see just how huge it is. I mean, it just reaches out into the distance. And there's one of your starting fields. See, so yeah, driving along here for about a minute nearly, just to get back to here and. This little area back here. What's this? Lurking back here. Is this a slutty area? It looks like it. Huh. Interesting. Now that is a road over here, but I don't think there's a way out onto it from this field. I think we've got to go back out the way I came in. Unfortunately. I think there's a, a break in the, the, in the hedge. Ah, there is right here though. But yeah, now these are the truly massive fields. Look at this. You can't see the other side of it, it's that big. And there's field six, I believe. Okay. That's weird. Some places you can drive through the hedge, and some places you can't. Hmm. Maybe they forgot to put the barriers into the places where I've hit and went through before. Now this field four. This is one of the ones that's set up for missions or for purchase. So you could do a bit in both. But look at them. They're huge. Now there's no forestry that I know of on this map apart from the the poplars I think I think they're poplars that are lining the roads. But other than that it does it is a very nice map. Oh and there's a water tower. I, I, I don't have a water tank with me otherwise I'd have tested to see if it actually produced it probably does. That's pretty much the extent of this map, to be honest. Uh, let's go up back here just a second. I think there's something up here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, uh, there is a sawmill back here. Oh, okay. There's a couple of things I missed, so I'm gonna quickly take a tour around and got the sawmill. There. Oh, damn it. Might help if I'm watching where I'm going. Now I'll head along this back edge. As I say, the sawmill, unless you're cutting down all these uh, trees along the roadsides and whatnot, what you may want to do uh, is pretty much not going to be used on this map much at all. Uh, I think I can straight shot along here to the co-op and vegetable warehouse.
Well, maybe not. It looks like there's a. Let's try and do the sneaky and cut through the field. There may be a way out here on the other side. But this just shows you how large this map is. I mean, they haven't even ploughed out to the extent they could if they wanted to with this. Which is a nice touch. It's pretty realistic because they'd hold back because the tree's casting shadows. Good god, the freaking break I'm looking for is way the wrong way. <laughs> it's typical. Okay, here we go. I didn't knock the sign though. Okay, we'll head up to the, the warehouse and co-op. And we'll end the video there. But, this definitely will be an interesting map for multiplayer or even single player. And the link will be in the description below as usual if you want to download it. And if you're new here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Do anything to let me know what you think of my videos. <laughs> Every little helps. All the feedback you can give me helps as well. There we go. Wow, wait, huge. Can I go in? Yes. Welcome to the co op. Like a loading point, at least, or maybe an unloading point, I'm not sure which. And then, wow, this place is old looking. So there you have it, that's the map. So till next time everyone, stay safe.